Each month, 34% of households served by the Feed America Network have to make the choice between paying for food and paying for transportation. 31% of households have to choose between paying for Medicare and paying for meals. And 27% have to make the choice to feed their family or pay for housing for the month. In a social experiment, a boy waited outside in the blistering cold pretending to be homeless. He waited two hours and still no one had stopped to help him. Until, a man comes up to the boy, gives him his coat and asks about the boy's situation. He then offers the boy to go eat and says how he himself is homeless, and that homeless have to stick up for one another. Myth. There are plenty of shelters and services for homeless people. People on the street don't want help. Fact. In most cities, there are more people in need of shelter than there are beds available. People want and need help. I start out in my morning about 6 o'clock. You know, sometimes I don't even have enough to go to the flop house. You know, sometimes the flop house is a cheap place and they number 16 bucks for 24 hours right over there on Clark and Van Buren. And uh, a lot of times I don't have enough money for that, so I had to end up sleeping in the park or on one of these benches downtown or something like this. And then the security guards come and run you off about five or six in the morning. So by six o'clock, I started panhandling and trying to survive. Waiting to be shaking a cup 24 hours a day, and people just look at you like you're some kind of little bomb, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have had people to walk past me and say, Get a job, bomb. And I said, wait a minute, I'm not a bomb, I'm a human being. And and it's, and it's hard. On average, there are 600,000 homeless people a night. Of that 600,000, only 400,000 are sheltered. Myth. Homeless people are uneducated and unemployed. Fact. Many homeless people have completed high school. Some people have attended college and graduate school. I feel that they are a much like they need to be more focused on and that we should put more emphasis on how many people are homeless in this country. My opinion on homeless people kind of differs from other people considering I don't really pity them. Sometimes I think that they deserve what they do and you know, they deserve to be homeless. <laughs> Not to be rude or anything. When you're talking about the general population of homeless people, there is obviously that one percent that might be threatening, but a large percentage of that of them, I don't feel threatened by. Them. I personally don't. I think it's just the sympathetic part gets in the way of you know seeing them as a threat. I think if they're legitimately down on their luck or, or they have problems where they can't, then I don't have a problem with that. I think society should take care of them. That bothers me just a little bit. I mean, I'm in economics right now, so I'm learning about how, um, like, because we make more, it goes more to them. Um, I feel like because we work hard for what we have, we shouldn't exactly give it all to them. Um, it does bother me a little bit, but if it's necessary, it's necessary. Depending on where I'm, like what area I'm in, I see them all the time. I see them very often, and it's really unfortunate, but like in a place in Connecticut, we're here from like rags to riches all the way. Um, <clears throat> we're some of the wealthiest and the poorest people. Yes, I feel very um, sympathetic towards them. No. No? Why not? 
Um, because usually when people are homeless, it's because they did it to themselves. If they're homeless because of like, I don't know, like an accident or like, you know, like from, like if they're from the war, like, like a veteran and they can't afford to like live somewhere, then I can understand that. But if they're homeless because they have a drug problem and they rather spend all their money on drugs than like paying for things that they actually need, then no. I have zero sympathy for that. Oh, I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. Um, you know, if, if you're... If it's legit, I, I don't. I don't have a problem. We should take care of those people. But people that are just doing it to uh, to get free money, um, uh, I, that's not right, and I have a problem with that. I don't feel uh, good about that at all. I think that that's uh, you know a scam, just like any other scam that should probably be uh, you know prosecuted. That's a bad thing. If we can enact a law, it would be called How's the Homeless. Our policy would first try to prevent homelessness before it even starts. We would create a project that can help enhance leadership and working abilities. To give homeless people homes, our new policy would provide houses with just essentials needed to survive. It would also make these homes more permanent rather than temporary. We would get most of the funding from the government. Each year, millions of dollars are wasted in the U.S. on unnecessary projects and decorations. It is estimated that to eliminate homelessness, it would cost $20 million. That is just under the amount spent every year on Christmas decorations. If the government cut spendings of senseless projects, it could be put towards our houses for the homeless. Since good health is important, donations from generous people as well as funds from the government would be put towards medical bills such as hospital bills and, if necessary, therapists or medications. Our policy will help fix the problem because every day more and more people are becoming homeless. If we start to decrease the number of people becoming homeless each year, over time less people will fall into it. Our organization will help teach and train working skills for future jobs and purposes. Most will not be able to afford the education needed, so this organization will be very crucial. The homes will have important utilities like heating, water, and electricity. By getting what is most needed and not getting what is not, the cost will only go towards important aspects. Since medical assistance will be mostly from donations, it wouldn't take away from tax money. The donations will go towards the patients whose problems are or can be life-threatening. Myth. All homeless people use drugs and alcohol. Fact. Only some people are substance abusers. Research shows only one in four use drugs and alcohol. Oh, good. It's just a hundred bucks here. Oh, no way. Yeah, just keep it. It's your money now. Oh, that's... I just want, you know... I, no, really, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, it's yours. I'm starting to tear up. No, over it's that. okay. Man, that's like incredible. It's okay. It's all I've right. Never... Can I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. I've, I've never had this in my life. Nice meeting you. Yeah, just keep filming. Just, just make sure he doesn't see you. Uh, he just came out. What'd he get? Giving them food. I'm gonna talk to him. You want some potato chips? Oh, because those are too hot for her. Thank you. Whoa, hey. hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> hey, actually, uh, come here. I need to talk to you. I was following you the entire time. Oh, yeah? After I give you the money, we were. <laughs>
There's a camera. My camera is right there. You see a camera? Oh yeah. Do you even know them? Like no. I feel like I owe you apologies because I I. You went to a liquor store, right, earlier? Oh, you thought I was gonna get all smacked up drunk, huh? I thought you're gonna actually. I thought you're gonna buy like alcohol or something. Yeah. yeah. But there's things money can't buy, and, and my own. I get a happiness out of what I'm doing. No, no, no. Here. I, I, I'm fine. No, you, you, you just touched my heart. You know, this is not. This, uh, this is not a hundred bucks. No, this is. What, I, I want. This, this is. I want you to keep it. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. <laughs> I'm stunned by. I don't by... know what to say. Usually, I'm pretty talkative. How how you end up to you know like where you are right now? Basically, I was living with my parents, and my stepdad had cancer, and they were getting hospice, but it didn't cover. The insurance only pays so much. I quit working because I had to be available, and so he passed away. And uh, then two weeks later, my mother passed passed away from kidney failure. The building they're in is being sold, the condo. And I all of a sudden found myself homeless. That's it, been like four months now. And there's a lot of people that are just victim of circumstance, and they didn't go homeless because they're late. You know what I mean? Lazy or like no, drug addiction. It or... could be a divorce, and one thing leads to another. The man sells his boat, his home, everything, and all of a sudden he finds out he's got no money. And he's, you know, there's a lot of good people that are homeless. If you're doing good. You somehow be on a seam and you meet, bump into good people. That's all there is to it. You're, you're on a different path somehow in life. I can't explain it. Good saying you again. Can't believe that. <laughs> Just happened.